that the decision Allah made in the heavens at that time, a massive decision. That Allah Ta'ala showed all of the negative, you could say. Allah Ta'ala made the angels gather that soil. Allah showed the dunya that they will go to, that was already full of fasad. And already, the, the, and then the angels, they questioned, they queried, they had a concern. Allah Akbar, they said Allah, that we, they weren't objecting, they weren't challenging, but it was just that they were surprised a little bit. That they, Allah, we hymn your praises, and we have to understand that the angels accepted everything that Allah Ta'ala ordained, but we, even on Allah's decisions, we reject, we're unhappy. So Allah says that whenever a decision comes from Allah, all powerful, most powerful, that Allah is the creator, it's His will, He loves so much His creation. And whoever is given the, the decision that this will happen here or that will happen here, there's nobody more than Allah who will love the, the human beings. The, so if Allah is the supreme, uh, He has His supreme love and affection, then will He give distress and problems and illness and diseases to the human beings for nothing? No, they will have the outward effect or um, it, will, it will seem to be that is destruction, but it's Allah's hikmah and love that is behind all of that. And Allah has given us a beautiful method that whatever I give to you, accept and be pleased as human beings, you will have difficulties, highs and lows, ups and downs. My decisions, they will seem difficult for you. And you'll feel that there are problems, etc. No doubt, you will feel. But, but you need to understand how can you overcome that hardship. Don't criticize and complain. Unless if I give you hardship and difficulties, I'll tell you the method. How to overcome the hardship is my dhikr. The dhikr of Allah will ease and make everything smooth. Whatever circumstances arise, Allah says that everything I give is from me, is good for me. If it's disease, I've sent it. If it's an accident, I've sent it. If something happens outwardly that you think is negative, it's me who sent it, Allah says. And if you remember me and accept it and are happy with whatever I ordain, then that will allow you to live comfortably. Allah says to strengthen this understanding and aqidah. Allah says, so who is there today? For example, who hasn't got problems? Why did this happen to me? I've got issues, I've got problems in life. Why did this person do this to me? Why did my father say this to me? Why did this my, my mother say this to me? Why did this break? Why did this decision go against me, etc.? Nobody has done nothing to you, brothers. Who is the one who controls? Allah Wahid. He is the one who is running this universe, the world. There's no other Lord or God. Allah is Wahdahu la Shariq. It is one supreme being, Allah, who is controlling the universe. And all life long, it's His decisions that run. We can't do anything. Even if Allah Ta'ala wants us to be in pieces, that's it. We could become like dust. It's Allah's decision. In this small world, ups and downs, it's Allah's hikmah. We shouldn't cry and complain. Allah's hikmah and wisdom. But even then Allah has given us a solution to keep us strong and robust. Allah Ta'ala has given us given us the permission of his dhikr. He's given us the permission. There's so much barakah in dhikr that it develops sakina, peace, contentment to that person. Allah's decisions, he then gets the ability to be happy with all of Allah's decisions. The dhakir. So what is the quality that I gave him this task on the earth? Allah says, وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا And Allah taught Adam the names of all the things and then placed them before the angels. Allah taught, gave him ilm, knowledge. Due to ilm, he is elevated. Ibn Adam. The ilm I taught him, Allah says. Now here a beautiful uh, point arises. What does it mean that Allah Ta'ala taught us? Did Allah Ta'ala open some kitab and teach Adam alayhi salam? He, Allah wasn't his teacher, said, hey, I'll open the kitab, let me teach you some points. Asma'a kullaha. Yes? So what does this mean? Asma'a kullaha. The Mufassirin commentators have explained this. The Asma'a kullaha. The all uloom Allah gave to Adam alayhi salam. Has Adam alayhi salam. All the uloom. All the necessary knowledge. How did Allah Ta'ala teach? When Allah created Has Adam alayhi salam, that Allah didn't open a kitab and teach him, no. Allah Ta'ala created him in such a way that he had the capacity to absorb the ilam, subhanahu wa Adam alayhi salam. As Adam alayhi salam, he had the ability to absorb them. He was made in such a way that Allah Ta'ala, you know, just like the rose and the flower, that the rose flower has the capacity to, to give the fragrance, 
different flowers have different abilities, different fragrances, different smell. Allah Ta'ala made water and the capacity of water capabilities that will quench the thirst. Milk has the ability that will give you benefit when you drink it. In the same way, Hazrat Adam alayhi salam, when he was created, Allah gave him the cap- capability to absorb the ilm, to draw the ilm, to draw them. Asma kullaha. All uloom automatically, Allah Ta'ala gave him the ability that he could learn and absorb. And the angels didn't have this quality. They were made of nur, but the creation made out of clay soil, they had the ability to learn the uloom, all the knowledge that Allah Ta'ala gave to him. So that was the difference. Why was this superior? Why was the crown of Khilafa given? Why There wasn't the difference between the light and the soil. The difference was that he is an alim, the human being. What a great alim. Look at the, 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 the capability, look at the level of an alim. The level of ilm, knowledge, the status. So another point comes out as well, that externally, dhahiri, a person shouldn't go on the dhahir, rather he should look at the reality beneath the surface. That on the surface he is a clay and soil and uh, shahwat and nafs and shaitan. But what's his batin inside? What has Allah Ta'ala put there? Allah Ta'ala has put there the reality that if he goes to his Lord, turns to his Lord, remembers his Lord, and he becomes that treasure of ulum knowledge, Allah has given him so much ability that look at the human being as Imam Bukhari, can anyone compare to him? Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi'i, subhanAllah. Can anyone compare with them? Everyone, 100,000 hadith memorized by them. Yes, and the, the juz, all the 30 juz of the Quran that they've explained, and look how the Quran is his, uh, memorized. That for example, Ulaika ashabun nar, I'm saying. And if I said, Ulaiki ashabin nar, then so many people listening, the Hafid of Hazrat, you've read the Quran wrong. So the Prophet said that I leave with you two things. My kitab, the sharia, Allah's kitab, was sunnah of Rasulullah Ilam of the Quran and the sunnah. Every verse will prove to you the sunnah and the sharia, as I said to you previously. Every verse proves the, sh- the sharia and the sunnah of the Holy Prophet How can we leave his tariqa? How can a person say without sunnah, I will attain Allah's nearness? How can a person say this? Yes, Allah says, وَأَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا What was it? What knowledge was it? That Allah Ta'ala gave to us Adam Alayhi Salaam and it completed at the time of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That was the Sharia. And this Sharia was with nobody before that. No, um, um, no Prophet had this Sharia. Nobody had these principles. How? The Sharia. Who is the head of Sharia? The Sharia is laid down by the Quran, explained by the Quran. Yes? So remember we get two things from the Quran, which we discussed before. The principles of the Qur'an, the instructions, the ahkams, and then we have the amal, the practical Qur'an. So we have the, the theory and the orders, the orders and the theory is sharia. And the amal, the practice of it, is the sunnah, te, sunnah of Rasulullah s.a.w. So sharia and sunnah combined, yes, intertwined. How can you separate them? We can't separate them. Sharia, if you try